Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Butterman for CDocs.com, and this is the tip of the day. I'd like to discuss a very important tip, and one that has recently been discovered. There is an issue with the current version of the software, uh, 5.0 and higher, where we have uh, an undermilling problem. And I'll discuss what that means in a minute, but if you've had a restoration that you milled out and you thought that it should fit and everything was fine, but it really just didn't seat completely on the tooth and maybe there was a little bit of rock, uh, there is now a workaround. This is actively being fixed, but currently there is a workaround to make sure that all of your crowns do fit and you don't have that issue anymore. So what we wanna do is, and this is really gonna be for every single crown in 5.0 software or higher, once we're finished designing the crown and we take it to the manufacturer phase, we want to take that window, that manufacturing window, and we want to expand it fully. If you expand that menu fully, you're going to see an option for, for uh, milling modes. One of them is veneer. You'll notice how the inner surface of this crown, it looks like it's been calculated with over milling to compensate for any rough areas. But if we turn on veneer mode, that's going to eliminate that under milling or over milling feature. Um, so the internal of the crown is not going to be over milled to compensate for any sharp areas. When we turn the near mode back off again, you'll see that that surface has now been calculated with over milling so that any of those surfaces that, that are too rough or that the burr can't fit into will uh, now be taken into account. So the fix for this, and this is the critical part, any restoration that we're planning to mill, when we go to the manufacture phase, we just want to toggle the near mode on, and then we want to make sure that we toggle it off again. If you forget to toggle it off, your crown's not going to fit every single time. So we're just going to quickly toggle the near mode on, and then we'll toggle it off. That will recalculate the lumen of your crown, and that will ensure that the correct over milling to compensate for any sharp areas of the prep are, are taken into account, and your crown will see it every time. I hope this tip was helpful, and if you'd like more information, please visit us at cdocs.com. Thank you.